We're back here for the second half. Uh, Dave Cerruti, Tampa Generals uh, coach. Yes. And uh, so this is an all Tampa side over here uh, covering this game. Uh, second time we've had uh, Justin Stark before, and now we have you. And uh, I know you guys have come here. It's been a tough little tournament. We faced some big teams there. Yeah, we knew coming in that it was going to be a tough challenge for us being in Division One, but that's what we qualified for. That's what we came to play, and our our guys are hanging tough. Now you guys were. I saw you play at the. Uh, the uh, Tampa tournament, uh, and you guys did fairly well there. Yes. Did you take that one? Well, that was more of a Division II level, and we're, we're we're stepping it up a notch here in Division One. Yeah. Well, but you, you earned it, yes. and play has started, and Sarasota with the ball, uh, uh, hover on uh, early possession, and they're down by two, I believe, and so. Uh, yes. Mike White has uh, trying to push Mike over the line. Tough guy to push. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nick Springer under. Almost to reach and in there. Almost to just, jump ball. Just a very common steady with the ball. 24 23, we're yeah, back cuts, to one. Cuts it to one. Yeah. So uh, we'll uh, talk a little bit about uh, everything while we're here. And, okay. uh, but we're certainly this Portland team finding uh, Sarasota a little more difficult than they expected, I think. Well, it's a balanced attack. Yeah, you know, when, when you've got. Three, three guys with speed like that. A lot of big hits over there, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah when, when you combine the, the three speed guys with a great picker like Max. No, Max Woodbury, it's, yeah. It's a formal opponent, as evident. Well, you know what? It, uh, nobody expected them to, 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 to toast Texas like they did. No. And, uh, and here they are. Look at this. DJ, can he pick it up? Nice oh, pass. nice hands. Throw to Nick. Springer for a goal, and there we are. Yeah, back to one. You can tell these guys are used to working with each other. It's just. Uh, well, Sarasota has come here and surprised. They beat Denver. Uh, that was I don't think anyone expected them to beat the number three seed, the number six seed, uh, and then and here they are playing the number two seed, and they're playing them tough. And uh, a little bit of a Cinderella team here. Now we oh. saw, uh, by the way, Minnesota. On the other hand, a Cinderella team. Yes. And uh, well, they're they're more of an unknown than Sarasota. Or Hoveron. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's... And they're playing. I think what they play in Kentucky. Uh, I'm not sure what the matchup I... is in that in D2. Oh, look at this! They are trying to push Mike out again. Can they do it? He needs some help. Throw. Oh, nice hands, but DJ recovers it, it looks like. The shot clock is still running, though. Ian Chan, well, they have time, 14, 11. And look at that, Nick Springer with a nice pick, scores. Yeah, they just don't panic when they're in trouble. Well, I'll tell you what, down, should be a one-point game, is that it, or two? One-point one game. One-point game, yeah. Whoever's doing that is a little behind it. And there goes Seth McBride. and. They, and, and we saw a little while Portland took a breather with some of its players. Yeah, it's a luxury that Portland has. That they, they, they've got a bench where Sarasota's been playing four-man rugby all weekend. Yeah. They can afford no equipment breaks. They can afford uh, no injuries. No. Uh, look at the pressure here. They've got to get it over. Mike, under pressure. They may have to burn. They have one timeout. They can't afford to give it up. There it is, the pass, and it threw his hands. And that's a turnover. That was forced. They had that one timeout left. They afraid yeah. to burn it, and that would have been where they would have used it. It's, it's in the back of their mind, but if you have timeouts, it's always wise to use them. Oh, look at this. Right back. That's it. No. Oh, they called timeout. Right there, Nick had a chance. Yeah, he should have grabbed had the ball. A chance to pick it up, he didn't. He couldn't see behind him. Well, the thing is, uh, he thought he was guarding uh, the ball and didn't right. realize that that uh, Ian was sneaking up on there and was able to get it. <clears throat> that could have been a that could have been the return of that turnover they needed. It's interesting in, in rugby a lot. You see a lot of turnovers after turnover. Yes. 
No, we, it seemed like we talk about that almost almost every game. The uh, the turnover, turnover. Coach Gumby says he's, he was going to write a book about it, but he said it, it got so big that he thought it would be. But uh, and I talk about the, if, if you're going to watch a fun, exciting game, the Shepherd game against McGee okay. was six turnovers in a row. How do you like that? That 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 has to be a highlight film right there. You watch rugby long enough, you see everything. All right, Ian Cham for an easy score. That puts him up by three again. Forced to give him yeah, go. There we go, and there goes DJ. He's on his way, and he's not the fastest, uh, as I say, wheel on the nice bus. Wheels. But nice double pick by yeah, Nick. Yeah, <laughs> double pick. Nick took two guys out with one pick. Gave DJ that little bit of extra time. Dave Jenkins was able to score. And um, uh, 28-26. And there goes 29-26. Uh, the three point will see if Sarasota can recover from that uh, that turnover. They yeah, want to keep it close. Oh, there's a foul there on McBride. He thought he had his hand on the ball, and it was close. Yeah, there's there's not much margin for error here for, for hover around the rest of this game. No, they, they they can't afford to fall down any more than what they are right now. Yeah, they need to they need to bring it back and try but to play for the possessions and the it. end. Exactly. You, all all they need is one turnover and just work work the possession arrows to get back get this game back. Oh, nice look at that! Nice. Max. Yeah, Max has closed the door, and he's so close to the back that he's got to be careful. Look at that! Find Nick, and there it is. Now, Dave, you've played. Uh, where did you play? have you played this sport? I've been playing for approximately 18 years. Oh. I started playing in Connecticut. And so. I made a move to Tampa about 10 years ago. So you almost have your your, your two-decade plan. Huh? <laughs> it's coming up. I'll see. And you, have you been playing for the Generals for quite a the, part of that time? Is that who you played for? I've been, yeah, since, since I moved to Florida, I've been playing for the Generals. So you there during some of that run uh, when they were... Uh, towards the end of their run. Towards the end of the Generals dynasty, if you want to call it that. Well, we were talking with uh, uh, Wayne Romero and about the, the game that, that, that was the end of the 93 oh, wins. Yes. That's a, a sore subject. That's, that's a sore spot in the Tampa Generals history. Well, somebody had to do it. It's that's like, right. it was, it was a look at Nick. It look at Nick. Yeah. They're just looking for that one turnover to get back right, right back yeah. this game. Well, you know, uh, the fact that they're staying with them as well as they have, I'm not sure how much of that is... Uh, how much Portland had to put out against Texas, but they really did. They they gave it their all. I mean, they have a equipment chair down. Uh, well, this this is the end of the year. This is when there's no time to rest here. This is this is when you lay it all behind. Yeah. Lay it all on the line. That's it. A little bit of a. Catch the breath. It's like Will was, uh, had to clear the air, as they say. Well, you have to give uh, Wayne some credit. He uh, was definitely, we had an interview with him, a great competitor. No, I, I, I've played so against Wayne many games, and just the utmost respect for him as a player and a person. There's Mike Whitehead for a nice score. Oh, look at that. Will, Will trying to do what he could to um, affect that, but still two points. We got three minutes and 35 seconds left. So, um, so you, uh, where do you live in Tampa? What part of Tampa? I live in Wesley Chapel. Oh, okay. Yes. Up north a little bit of us. A I'm bit, a Lutz yeah. yeah, on Lutz side. not far. Tampa's a great place to live. I can't say enough about how I've been living there since 76. Wow. I, I came down for 
the weather and for the rugby team. You know, I, I knew I wanted to play rugby, and I just um, got sick of those winters in Connecticut. So you're back rebuilding now. Uh, is coach trying to put that generals team back in there as a top Division One team? Yeah. Uh, next year will, will be our 20th anniversary for the Generals. Now, we're, we're the, I heard some rumor that you guys were going to work closer with Sarasota or something. Well, we, we are in the same program. We're, we're under the same umbrella. Okay. So it's just a, a chance for us to, to, to merge our two programs together. So you will. And we, we do practice quite a bit together. So at, at this point, who, who would be the coach of that? Would end up... That's to be determined. Okay. Yeah, we haven't gone down that road yet. But uh, two tough coaches there, and uh, but I tell you what, it uh, it makes sense. I can see how tough it's been for Sarasota with the injuries that they've had. They've only been able to put four here at quad at the uh, knock and roll. They had to to import it's, a few players to, to show up. Because at a tournament, anything can happen to your equipment, to your you know, your your health. And um, you're just taking a chance that all your players last for the whole weekend, and so far yeah. they have. But if there's if there's four guys that can do it, it's it's the four out there in white right now. By the way, just to talk to you about uh, you know if, if you have a ch chance to check out all the things on Xable, we've been really covering a lot of things between the different sports. We were at the Florida Open. We're at the wheelchair basketball finals, power soccer yes. uh, regionals, and we'll be at the Nationals for power wheelchair That's soccer. Great. That's great. Uh, we've covered a lot of things, and uh, we have um, we've been at the Abilities Expo in New Jersey, which is really a great experience to go there. Have you ever been to one of those ex expos? Yes, I have. So, uh, oh, it's it's great what Xable is doing. It's exp give, given all wheelchair sports and disabled sports exposure that that people are looking for. You know, I've, I've had people ask me if any of the Paralympics are going to be televised on, tel We're hoping. on television. We're hoping. But I, I said, sure, surely somewhere it'll be simulcast on the internet to be looking out for. Well, we're working on that. So we'll see what happens. We're waiting to find out. But uh, that's our aim, to be there. And here comes Portland. On fire, as always. Oh, look at that. The little spin. Ten oh. seconds, no dribble. Wow, no dribble. That's, you know what? I've seen that uh, happen in one of the first Portland yeah. games, and that's a that's a, rook, a mistake that you don't expect to have out of somebody like Will Gru. It's, but it's, it's one of those what they call unforced turnovers. Yes. And I've seen Saris come around and capitalize on this. Oh, look at, look at how they locked him in. Mike's being locked in. He stays composed. Yeah. Composed. He's going to find Nick, and Nick catches it. Wow, what a what a throw, what a catch. And there we go, and they brought it back. It's 31-30, and that was what they needed. That's the one they needed. Uh, we've got three minutes left. Well, was, well I'm glad uh, we're here for this. This could, this could be another one of those spawn burners like we saw earlier in the uh, Lakeshore game uh, against yes. Texas, which was the uh, recap of third game that they played in the last three, four months, and uh, this time, and they gave him the goal. Mike thought he could have uh, had a hand on it, might have done a jump ball, but uh, okay, inbounds fast. This, this period here, last goal possession here is going to be very important. I know. Right here. You, you want to go into the uh, fourth period with uh, a little bit of a, uh, a advantage going on. You want to score the most you can, and then I'm not sure who gets the possession. I believe it's Portland's Portland. I think it may be area. Portland. Yeah. These things make a difference. Mike Whitehead forcing his way in. Force the giving go. Yes. I'd like to see another turn over here. That's right. What a hit. Time is running down. Nice pass. Ian Chan, and there it is. Another score. 
Now we're getting down to it. We're under, uh, under two minutes. Well, look at, look at, look at the Mike race Gideon. there. The up. race with nice bounce pass to DJ and he scores. Yeah, both Mike and Ian are on the Canadian national team, so they, they know each other very well. They do, yeah. Their style of play. Well, oh, what a, what a nice hit that was. Ian will coast in there. Well, you know, this is what you look for in a game. You look for a, a close game. You, you, you hope that the two teams that make it to this pool play are going to be competitive with each other. Uh, we've seen a lot of blowouts in the in the first day, and uh, well, it's, it's nice you, to see it. You're going to tend to see mismatches in pool play, but once you get to crossovers, that's that's what separates the teams. Well, that's right, crossovers. I'm calling a pool play, but I'm thinking uh, pool crossovers. And there it is. TJ's in real trouble. He's got time though, but he's locked in and finds Mike. He just stays very composed. All right, there we go. Pounders with the ball. Uh, looks like uh, easy right, we're, score. We're coming to the end of the quarter here now. 50 seconds. Now here's where clock management's gonna really come into play. Uh, no, it's. They're not talking about you, the clock manager. They're talking as much about team clock manager. Left. Nick Springer, can he get there and pull it in? Boy, Will, Will was right on him. And there goes DJ, and they're going to score real quickly. And that's the key. Yeah. Well, now What's Portland, a, can, Portland can go for the last goal right here. Well, there's only 40 and, and 40. And they got the arrow. 40, 41, so. Uh, so this can turn into a, from a one goal game to a three goal game real quick without any turnovers. Right. If, and I don't think anybody's going to score last here. And with the possession arrow. Right. Big corner. Well, let's see what happens here. They're in a, they're in a key defense. Let's see if uh, Sarasota has any sort of answer for the speed merchants. DJ trying to block. Look at this. It's down to the end here. And... What do we have here? Nick gets a spin. Uh, I believe who? they're going to call Nick Springer on a spin. Aha. Uh -huh. So they gave him the goal? I don't think they did. No. OK. Actually, it's not a, it's not a bad play by Nick. No, because now they have to inbound. There's two seconds on that clock. No, there's, there's three there's seconds 3.6 on, the, on the game clock. Yeah, three seconds on the game oh. or two. Oh, that was a, they let him get some position there, Seth McBride scored, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter. I don't think, it's 36-34, I don't think with two seconds that, that, uh, that uh, Sarasota's going to do anything no, too fancy. I don't think they gave him, they did not give him the goal. They didn't. I thought they said. Well, we're not sure now. I'm not safety. sure what happened. Safety. We're they, not sure the exact score here, are we? They did give him the goal, but they called a penalty goal, so DJ stayed in the penalty box. Uh -huh. They've got to get the ball in, which they did. So at the end of play, we're 36-34. And uh, we're going to be right back. Dave Cerruti and Rob Rowan. And see you in a minute. 